seems as though the Lord has defeated us, our nation, and our modern age, and even the church. But has he really done so? Today I'm going to show you this very short episode through Samuel, book of Samuel. The Lord is allowing us to defeat ourselves. So let's get started. everybody, welcome back to Reason for Truth. This is Reason for Truth, but the truth comes first, always. The reasons come last, but we're always in constantly learning because we stop learning, we stop teaching, or at least stop teaching well. Listen, looking at Scripture, And when the people came to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Why has the Lord defeated us today before the Philistines? Let us bring the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord here from Shiloh that it may come among us and save us from the power of our enemies, 1 Samuel 4, 3. Now, I want to just put a little caveat on here. Notice how they, they didn't say God would save us. They said the ark would. There, there was like superstition. The ark symbolizes the presence of God, but the Israelites used it to super, supernaturally, kind of a supernatural way by placing their faith in the ark rather than in God himself, as I said. Hence, the God... What did he do? He defeated them, meaning God withdrew his hand of blessing, provision, protection, and power. In other words, God defeated Israel through kind of an omission, right? Omission is a lack thereof to act or pull back or withholding of his goodness, his power, which resulted in their defeat. God didn't come down and just defeat them directly. If you look through the Bible, God's allowing us to be defeated as we consider that God's judgment. Well, it is. Judgment is just his hand of withdrawal to help us remain safe and to be prosperous and to be blessed we're experiencing this now in america and all over the west and on the world right well listen as as edmund burke said the only thing necessary for evil to prevail is for good men and women i'll put the women in there he said men to do nothing that's right when christians do nothing evil does what it prevails they're not that good evil's not that good is this we're that bad at times all right now we have that straightened out i'd submit that the very highest levels of government in america now are like the israelites were it once were not just to blame the government but how about us as christians and the church we're right there along with them because who's populates the government well, in America, it's American citizens. It's true of any nation. We trust in our modern technology and powerful weapons of war, while at the same time placing our faith in those machines as opposed to God who gave us those machines, or the intelligence to build those machines. We didn't in invent everything. We just discovered it. And as a result, at some point, our modern Ark of the Covenant, not the same thing speaking biblically here, will fail. And God's going to pull his hands of blessings back, his favor. And our source of victory won't be found. We're going to be corrected. Our current trajectory here in the United States and the West needs to change. And it's beginning, thank God. Well, that's good news. But we got a lot of pain ahead of us. And the old America, in a sense, is, is pretty gone. And the new America, the new world order is going to be different. But the real battle right now is over who's going to make the new world. <laughs> that's the question. We have to think as Christians, we got to step up and say, well, I don't want to get involved with politics. Well, you better or you have no complaint against who governs you because it's politics, right? If that sounds anti or non-patriotic, by the way, of what I'm talking about today, it's because I see truth as God. First and country is second. I just do. And in the end, it's it's on us as the body of Christ to make, you know, the real impact. And certainly America was founded on that. No getting away from that. You take Christ, you take Christianity out of the centerpiece of America, you no longer have America. You have something else. In reality, the Lord's defeating us simply reflects his allowing us to defeat ourselves through the withdrawal of his hand of blessing, provision, and protection. Listen, we as Christians can turn the world around according to God and with his strength and power and will if and only if we seek his word, seek to live out in action and word his ways, to be bold, to be courageous with love and truth, meekness and kindness, but still firmness, and pray for his hand of blessing to once again protect bless, prosper, and make us a centerpiece as the body of Christ, I'd say at this point, for the world. Listen, I hope this has encouraged you. Hope it's invigorated you to make some changes in thinking or actions, but that's the key for today. Let's get in God's Word. Thank you for tuning in. I want to invite you to be part of my community. I write about three articles, devotions a week. You have to sign up using the Locals app. 
go there at stephengarafalo.com. Just click on there. It'll take you to everywhere you need to be. No charge for that. I want to inspire you. I give you some more in-depth teaching and a lot of the transcripts from these as well are there posted. So God's blessings to you. Make sure you do a few things. Not only join my community at stephengarafalo.com. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the alert bell. That's going to help us get the algorithms up, spread the word of God more Listen, more widely, more deeply throughout the whole earth. We don't monetize this channel. And until next time, I'm your host, Stevie Garofalo. This is your reason for truth for today. <music>